Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lysergic666 here. Uh, now this is a pretty crazy story. This is my hospital mushroom freakout trip. Anyway, I'm gonna dig right into this. Uh, pretty much all day, I was waiting, I was asking hella people if they had any mushrooms, because I, this would be my second time doing mushrooms. My first time, it was a really good time, so... I thought, hey, if I get some more, I can relive that same sort of experience and have a nice time. So what happened was, I uh, I was asking people all day if they had mushrooms. I finally had someone, he was like, hey, I heard you're looking for some. I was like, yeah. I was like, how much you got? He's like, I have like eight grams I can sell you. I was like, okay, that's cool, I can do that. And I was pretty excited, because the person who sold them to me was a co-worker at the time who I don't really talk to anymore, so... It was really cool that he was able to help me out with this, but what ended up happening was I was waiting all day. I wanted The whole plan was to, like, take them during the day, but because I was asking all day, I wasn't able to get them till like, nighttime. Like, it was, like, 8, 9 around then. So, anyway, I get them. I meet him at his job, or at our job at the time, when he was off work, and I was, like, I went, went into his car. And he asked me if I did him before, all this shit. He was like, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He And he was like, all right, well, just so you know, these ones were really strong. And there was some powder in there, too. And he said that that was even stronger. Don't I don't know how, like, true that is. But regardless, it would still get, get you high regardless. So anyway, I go inside. And the first time I ate mushrooms, I put on a peanut butter sandwich. And it, was, it wasn't the best, but, like, it helped me, helped me get it down. But... The taste wasn't as bad as a lot of people say it is. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to eat them raw. And, like, they'll probably hit me faster anyway. So out of the entire eight grams, I ate about six and a half to seven grams of mushrooms. Now, my first time doing them, I did, like, half of that. So this time I, I ate the mushrooms. I was chilling watching YouTube videos. And I just started, like... Like, my TV just started turning into, like, a upside-down rhombus, kind of. Like, not, like, super hardcore, but it kind of looked like the lines on the side of the TV were kind of curving in a little bit. And I was like, alright, so, they're probably starting to work now. I want to smoke some weed. So, I took, like, two bong rips, and I started laying back. And I was, and then I, I just, for some reason, like, it, like, my body started feeling super fucked up. And I started feeling my throat, and it felt like all the bones in my throat were fucked up and, like, scattered in the wrong places and, like, pinching each other and shit. It wasn't, like, painful, but, like, I kind of feel like I imagined the pain, if there was any, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that happened. And so I stood up, started freaking out a little bit, but I was like, you need to relax, just pace around, uh, enjoy yourself. And I was trying to uh, relax and chill as much as I could, and uh, I was just freaking out more and more, and I ended up waking up my mom, and it was about 12 o'clock midnight at this point, and I'll tell you what, she was not fucking happy when I was freaking out saying my Adam's apple was broken, and I could tell she didn't want to get up, because I went to her, I told her what was up, she was like, you're fine. I was like, no, I'm not. And I went in the bathroom, and I was, like, looking at myself, and I was feeling my throat, and I was like, your throat's broken, bro. Your throat's broken, and everything's wrong. You ate poisonous mushrooms. And that's what I thought actually happened. I thought, I, like, my buddy sold me some, like, like, the wrong type of mushrooms, like, actual, like, poisonous ones that'll kill you. And I was like, this is what people experience before they die when they eat the wrong type of mushroom. And so when I freak out on shit, the way I like to sober up or make myself feel like I'm sobering up, because I like to drink some water, and I was drinking water, and then after I drank the water, I was like, fuck, like, what if this helps the mushrooms grow in my stomach, and, like, kill me from, like, like, you know, like, just grow inside my stomach, and, like, fuck me up like that a little more, I guess, and so once that happened, I started really freaking out, and I ran back to my mom, and, like, I wasn't crying yet, but I was, like, Definitely, like, tearing up a little bit, like, fuck, I fucked up, I, am gonna die, I die trying to, like, trip on mushrooms, that's, like, so stupid, and so my mom ends up getting up, she's, like, yelling at me, she's, like, alright, you wanna go to the fucking hospital, I was, like, yeah, I do, and it's really, <laughs> it's really stupid, because, like, I don't know what the fuck my plan was when I got there, but 
we get there and uh, we go through the security gate. Some st really stupid shit happened there too. But we get past the security gate. The guy's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "My Adam's apple is broken." And the guy looked at me like I was stupid as shit. He was like, "If your Adam's apple is broken, you want to be able to talk." And I just kept saying, "My Adam's apple is broken." Like, like I would like say it in different pitches each time, like trying to like, I, like I don't know. And yeah, so that happened. And I finally go and see the doctor, and the doctor who was, like, asking me all the questions, he, he looked, like, tired. It was, like, 1230, close to 1 at this point. He looked pretty pissed off that he was, like, dealing with someone like me at the time. And then I told him what was going on, and he was like, do you take any drugs? <laughs> and, like, the funny thing is, is, like, I said, yeah, and, like, instead of saying weed or anything like that, I was, like, mushrooms, because I knew, like... For some reason, I knew it was going to happen, but, like, my brain wouldn't, like, comprehend it, I guess. And I told him mushrooms, and he was like, when's the last time you did that? And I was like, today, or, or, like, a little bit ago. And then right when I said that, my mom realized I was just freaking out having a bad trip. And she smacked herself in the mouth, like, all pissed off, like, I'm sorry, mom. I'm really ashamed of myself, blah, blah, blah. And... After that, like, I could tell she was pissed, but she kind of thought it was funny, because, like, I don't know. I, like, I kind of wish she would have realized, like, I was just tripping on mushrooms instead of, like, actually listening to me and t telling her to take me to the hospital. But, yeah, that happened. And then this whole thing happens where this doctor comes in. She's, like, it's a different doctor. The first doctor who was talking to me was some dude. He looked pissed off. His eyes were, like, bloodshot red from, like, being tired or, like, stressed and shit. Then the next doctor is, like, this nice teachery type of uh doctor and she's like so what's going on and i'm like i took mushrooms and it feels like my adam's apple is broken she's like all right uh have you taken mushrooms before i was like yeah and she was like and you never got this effect before i was like no she was like all right and i'm like i'm trying to explain to her that my uh adam's apple felt weird like my throat and she was like yeah well when you hit puberty your adam's apple grows i'm like yeah i know like i it, it sucked because i could tell they thought i was like like, I don't know. I could tell they were talking to me like I was, like, a five-year-old. But, like, I, I understood, like, puberty. But, like, I didn't understand why my throat felt so fucked up. Later on, I learned that it's just the body load. And that's just what happens sometimes when you do it. But, anyway, they do that. They take an x-ray on my throat. And that was funny. And, uh, yeah. I, all the doctors I walked by, they knew what was going on. And they were just staring at me. I Like, some looked annoyed and some looked, like, haha ha, like that's funny um i don't know it just kind of sucks because now i'm like a statistic you know like for those fucking people who freak out and go to the hospital on mushrooms doesn't make mushrooms look any better but after that we i was we're probably there for a total of like two and a half hours it was not a nice place to spend your mushroom trip but when i came home my mom was annoyed and pissed off she was like just go to your room and go to sleep and i was like okay and when I go to my room and try to fall asleep, I definitely cannot sleep. But I'm just laying there and just thinking, like, wow, like, I know people that know people I know. And they don't know that I know that they know those people, if that makes sense. Like, weird deep thoughts like that. And, like, right after, like, I got to the hospital, I quit freaking out. It's just, like, I don't know why that made me so much more safe. Just knowing, like, I was in the hands of people who, like, knew how to, like, keep people alive kind of but yeah that's pretty much the end of my story there there are some other small details and shit i could add in but it wasn't that important so i don't know that's my story if you enjoy these type of stories please like subscribe comment tell me what kind of stories you like to hear next all the above you know i definitely have a lot more stories and definitely like to see what kind of stories you guys would like to hear so yeah peace out guys have a nice day